So, kasi marami nagtatanong ng um, uh, about, let's say, normally kasi nakikita na ng mga tao how consistent are you sa trading. Mm-hmm. And, but, Uh, let me ask you, how long did it take you to be consistent, to be a consistent trader? More than three years. More than three years. Um, close around uh, 2016, uh, pala ako naging uh, consistent. It really took a lot of time. Um, hindi ko rin alam kung paano ako nakaabot till that stage. Um, mainly because I really love the game and uh, I, I came to love the game and it's really, really stuck. But it took that long because um, and dami kong mga maling ginawa uh, to begin with. So, yun. Tagal, uh, two years. Bigyan mo, na, bigyan mo naman kami ng mga examples, sir, yun, ng mga ginawa mo dun sa three years na yun. Ha? Uh, first is to um, start journaling my trades. Um, around 2015 now, nag-journal ng mga trades ko. So, having a trading journal, looking into your trades is, for me, uh, it's one of the best ways that you can identify how you can personally improve as a trader. Because, you know, traders, we all have different personalities. We all have different things that um, uh, keep us from becoming better. Some people are more emotional. Some people are uh, more fearful. Some people are more greedy. Therefore, iba iba yung uh, level ng uh, struggles. Eh. But across the board, it's pretty much just a personal struggle. Going past technicals, um, you could really see how your mind works and what really keeps you from becoming better by looking at the common mistakes that you uh, that you commonly have or that you um, continuously keep on doing. Say, uh, for me, puso sa akin talaga lagi, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people would uh, relate to this. First few years talaga, pag may nakikita akong hot stock, para akong ano eh, may kitikiti sa pwet eh. Kailangan nandun ako sa trade na yun. Mm-hmm. Kailangan, there's this desire na, kailangan kikita ako eh. Pero, throughout the whole time, and I had to suffer for that. The chip. Like, I lost more uh, more than one year, one year's worth of savings. Uh, mm-hmm. And I had to find other ways to uh, bring my capital back up. Um, nag-sideline ako. Nag- I did a bunch of other stuff. Uh, pero, beyond funding myself, um, what really was crucial was, talagang, kinalabaw ko yung sarili ko. I think that's something that a lot of uh, starting traders need to um, really get into their head. When you're starting out, sure, the market is there. It is it is what it is. But your main opponent isn't really the market because the market is as is. Okay? Uh, you can have you know, different systems to have an edge against the market or with the market. But your main opponent really has to be you. Because the person who's making the decisions, the person who's making those buy orders, those sell orders, the person who's deciding how much he's going to allocate for a trade, what he's going to do when he sees this stock rising, whether he's going to be planning or not, it's all you. But 90% of all uh, the work uh, really is uh, sa tao. So for me, first of all, that's the first, uh, having a trading journal. And next is trying to have a systematic approach. Um, for those, um, I teach this to my students a lot. When you're trading, there are two ways that your mind functions when you're trading. One is a discretionary approach, which is something that you, well, you trade based on the stuff that you see, the stuff that you experience, the stuff that na nakita natin sa social media, mainly relying on experience and the stuff that you see and know. That's the most common way that uh, people start out in trading. Pero the thing is, when you start out that way, yung depth ng experience mo, yung depth ng knowledge mo, when, with regards to the market that you're trading, with the way that you should be trading, is very limited. Sure, if you're a trader like you know, Ikaw Kap, or you know, some of the um, consistent traders that we have out there in the market, Um, through experience, through time, nagpapile up yung mga magagandang trades, good habits, yung discretionary approach nila without a structured system is um, pure and legit. Talagang, pag nagka-trade sila, um, nakasistema na eh, sa utak nila eh. Uh, kung, paano nila, uh, kung paano sila magde-decide at any given period, whether that's from stock picking to proper allocation to executing ng trades. 
So ako, um, I, I, I decided to switch to the other side, which is what's important, especially when you're starting out, to have a systematic approach to break down what you should be doing, how you should be preparing, um, and how you should be flowing from one trade to another. And ako, very important yung ano eh, para sa akin yung blog ni Zfix, kasi nakita ko, may progression yung trades niya. Hindi siya agad, pinag-compare ko when I was um, struggling throughout the whole time, pinag-compare ko yung trades ko sa trade, trades ni Z. And the only thing that um, really stood out, aside from the fact na sobrang laki ng risk manage, uh, sobrang laki ng rin risk ko, I usually blow my allocation out of the water, was that he wasn't too concerned about, sure, he was making profits, he was earning big bucks, um, even uh, years back. But he wasn't concerned about that. He was concerned about the process. Must focus on the process compared to the outcome. And for me, that was really the game changer. Understanding that you really need to know what you're doing. You really need to have a system that frames all your decisions. Because otherwise, your emotions will para mga demonyan, magdidikitan sa balikat, bulungan ka. And that's when you know, uh, you start loading your account. I see, I see. So, parehas pala tayong, ano, na, na power dun sa, ano, sa vlog ni, ni Boss Z Freaks, ano. Uh, actually, totoo yan, kasi, kung, babasahin mo yung, ano, kung babasahin mo yung vlog ni Boss Z, from start to finish, makikita mo dun kung, uh, papaano nga siya nag-progress, ano, from just earning yung mga, uh, I think, ang pinakauna kong, talagang nag, struck sa akin doon was yung mga 50,000, uh, parang 200,000 pa lang yung, yung portfolio niya back then, tapos mga 50,000 pa lang yung mga earnings niya uh, usually per stock, tapos biglang tumataas na, nagiging 100,000, naging 250,000 na yung profits to ha, ah. so makikita mo yung progression niya and how he documents everything doon sa vlog niya now, parehas pala tayo doon, but uh, may I ask you Si Boss Z, I think malaki din yung malaki yung naging influence na banggit mo dun sa sa ano mo no sa progre- progress mo sa trader. Was there a time ba na parang inask mo siya to mentor you kasi to, sabi mo 2015 ito yung uh, nag I think nag-start na rin kami ng ano nito eh ng program. Um I was supposed to pero at the time um I, I had other commitments, eh. uh, na promote ako sa trabaho, um, plus uh, a bunch of other stuff. And I got into a prop trading firm around 2016. So, medyo iba. <laughs> uh, nag yung ano, direction ko. Pero at the time, I was really inclined to um, join CFT since at the time, and even up to now, mm-hmm. um, CFT is really at the top of its game in developing the Correct, correct. So, nag-prop trader ka pala? Yes. Um, a relative, a good relative um, referred me to a prop trading firm. I cannot disclose anything even up to now kasi may NDA. Uh, pero, um, I worked with them for almost a year. And I think that was, kumbaga, kumbaga yung uh, experiences ko for the first three years in yung Iron Man version 1. Like, that was mm-hmm. like Mark 2, Mark 3. Mark. That was when um, I really understood how seriously you should be taking And don't wanna eat that. Eh. Uh, for me, that was like the, the light bulb moment when I was working in the um, um, prop trading firm. Because you can't just trade just 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 so you really have to dun ko talaga nakita uh, in a sense yung importance na trading isn't just about one trade or one jackpot trade like mm-hmm. everyone wishes or one trade but it's a progression of trades eh? one trade to another and how those trades pan out over an uh, uh, over a period of time is uh, really what makes you good as a how well you manage to save yourself. Correct. Correct. Uh, Doon sa mga hindi nakakaalam, sir, ng uh, prop trading, baka pwedeng bigyan mo sila ng idea kung anong ginagawa ng isang prop trader. So, a prop trader basically is a trader who is hired by the firm, trained by yung firm, uh, ng prop trading firm, 
to trade for them using the capital of the uh, company. So you, you undergo training and you also um, are given certain um, strategies by the firm, um, certain proprietary uh, or unique strategies that they uh, implement and there. Uh, at the time when I was working in Prop, uh, the first market that I got into was Asia, Korea, and Japan. So they're uh, foreign, new one, new company. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, first few markets that I traded. Here, Japan, because it isn't. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to get info. Uh, plus, the platform that we use is US dollar denominated, so you have to calculate the um, difference of mm-hmm. USD sa, sa, sa yen. And uh, from there, you get to calculate your smoker trade, etc. Et and from there, um, around two, three months out of Asia, and after that, around five, six months, uh, I did uh, US. Mm, maganda yan, kasi siguro dun sa, when, when you were working you know, as a prop trader, na stru- mas nagkaroon na structure yung ano, kasi you have to uh, follow strict rules de, na ini-impose din nila, no? tama ba? Mm. Uh, as a prop trader, lahat limited eh. from the Correct. amount that you could lose per day. Um, say you're only allowed to lose uh, 200 to 500 dollars per day. Obviously, as your skill progresses uh, in a prop trading firm, the firm will allow you or give you more capital to invest. Uh-huh. Pero limited eh. So pag na nyare, um, you're uh, day trading kasi yung, ano, eh, yung um, prop firm. So our style of trading was just to uh, execute trades within a uh, particular uh, market session. So, um, limited. Pag lumagpas ka na sa threshold ng loss mo, which is, um, at the time when I was starting out around $50, di ka na pwede trade You have to write your trading journal, document all your trades, and go. So, ganun ka stricto. And obviously, your stats are always there. Um, mm-hmm. And medyo competitive din kasi you have other prop traders uh, working with you. And, of course. Uh, you uh, get to see their stats as well. So, Yung ano ba? Um, sense of accountability. Yun, isusulat natin yan sa notes natin. Sense of accountability, guys. Especially sa risk management. Meron bang, nag, uh, meron ba kayong parang, let's say, punishment system? Wherein parang talagang na-bloat yung loss mo. And then, let's say, uh, kailangan kang isuspend ng firm. Oo. Oh, may ganun. Um, when you, like, for one week, Ganun siya sa stricto, hindi man lang pinabibigyan ng dalawang linggo. Pag isang linggo, tapos um, below ka sa allowable, uh, kasi there's a uh, allowable uh, loss per day. Tapos around um, 50% nun is the allowable um, or threshold to risk for that week. If you reach that risk uh, amount, which is say around 200, pag umabot dun yung talo mo, Yung uh, allowable capital, well, allowable capital as is, um, you could, you know, risk the firm's money. Pero the moment na, ang galing kasi nung ano yun, nung, when you're trading other markets, uh, uso yung auto-stop orders, trick orders. Y- yes, yes. Um, oh, yeah. So, automatic, um, kaya i, ano, i-handle or any calculate platform yung allowable. Expert. So, yun. Ang mayayari nun, pag tinamaan mo yung, ano mo, uh, maximum risk for that week. Uh, babawasan yung risk mo. So, kung $50 lang yung uh, allowable risk, five. so, as a prop, tra- uh, as prop uh, trader, you make money for the firm, you get commissions out of the profit. So, pag mas maliit lang yung allowable risk mo, yung capital that you can allocate for any particular trade is also be- becoming less. Hence, yung uh, profitability mo sa liit. So, obviously, take home pay is mali. Good to Angel's Burger ang mga So, yun. Buy one, take one. In your burger. No, buy one, take one. If you don't mind me asking, gano kalaki yung, eh, gano kal- how much is your, ano, commission? Uh, back then? Commission, uh, around uh, 25%. Well, malaki din, sir, ha? Profits. Malaki, uh, malaki din. So, ibig sabihin, pag kumita ka ng 1 million, pag kumita yung account ng 1 million pesos, meron ka 250k? Yep. Hindi na masama. Hindi na masama, hindi na pa, hindi na Angel's Burger ang, ano, so, maganda to kasi parang before kasi, gusto ko rin maging prop trader or maging broker ng isang ano. Pero that was the decision na ginawa ko. Siguro parang uh, crucial moment sa career ko as a trader. Nag, nag ano kasi ako eh, nag uh, seminar ako sa SEC. 
yung I forgot yung para maging broker ka that was a 3 day seminar and then nung time na may schedule after that mayro schedule eh of your exam para maging licensure exam ano tapos jury para nag-review na ako everything and then by the time na nag na nag ano, parang during the exam day hindi ako umattend ng exam na sabi ko parang kasi parang ang nangyari sa akin noon mas nanaig yung ayoko ng traffic Sabi ko if if mag if magtatrabaho ako sa isang ano sa isang brokerage firm siguro no, sa Ortiga kasi to or sa Makati. So and then that's why hindi na rin ako nagano. Pero siguro mas kaya mas tumagal din yung pro- progress ko because of that. Kasi kung siguro kung kunyari nagtrabaho ako, merong talagang nakapag-guide sa akin or merong structure din ako na sinunod. Kasi like for example dito sa prop trading firm na namulat ka dun sa punishment system eh, na parang you have to perform or at least siguro you have to protect the money na hinawakan mo para hindi ka masuspend and at the same time, syempre yung reward system of having commission etc. So uh, let me ask you yung sa, nabanggit mo na your trading Asian markets uh, ngayon ba trade ka pa rin ng, ano, ng Japan and other no. Asian? Um, I have plans actually. Um, currently, uh, I manage funds privately. So I just trade local PC. Um, mm. Pero in the future, um, I, I have plans in the future to go back in the uh, US market. Region. Kita kits? Kita kits pala tayo sa ano? Sa foreign foreen markets. Ayan, kasi ayun ang magiging growth strategy ni Kidlat eh. Sa ano, foreign markets naman. Pero anyway, let's talk about your trading method. I'm sure a lot of our listeners. Uh, the juice. Oh, the juice? The juice. Eh, tama na patutsyada. Tama na mga patutsyada. Tell us something about your trading method. How would you best describe your approach that you've adopted 